started talking about proteins. Proteins, as you guys all know, especially if you're a healthy hair fanatic or kind of all the rave, um, particularly as the keratin blowout treatments, keratin straightening treatments, um, just protein treatments in general have become kind of the style du jour of the day. Um, so before you go out and do those sort of things, let's talk a little bit about proteins and what they do. Proteins are essentially very large biological compounds and they're often configured on what's called an alpha helix. So a lot of people think of alpha helix or whatnot, kind of as you think of DNA and all the crime shows, kind of something like this. And that happens because essentially they're so large that they fold on top of themselves. Similar to a string or anything that's of a length. So let's think of this as a protein. And it's large, and so essentially, with anything that you twist, 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 eventually it gets to a point where the twisting is so tight that it starts to fold onto itself. And that's essentially what proteins do. So they're very large complexes that fold onto themselves. More importantly, what are proteins for and what do they do in our body? Proteins are essentially part of the engines that drive cells. And as you all know, cells are essentially the basis for life. So being the engines that drive cells, which are the basis for life, proteins are essentially necessary to help our cells to grow, to stay healthy, And when they're not healthy, proteins are necessary to help cells to regenerate. Proteins are also the primary building blocks to our hair, our skin, our nails, and our muscles. So, well, I may be good at science, maybe I'm good at consulting. I'm not necessarily a, a B side of my brain sort of person, so the drawings, hopefully they'll make do. But essentially, again, you need protein so that you can have longer, stronger, healthier hair, radiant skin, beautiful fingernails, and of course, we the girls like to show that off with a little bling bling, and of course, strong muscles you know, check them gums out on her, kind of bam, look at them muscles. So essentially these are the things that you need proteins for. Similar to what we talked about in the first, um, first slide here, you need protein so that you can grow strong cells, keep those cells healthy, and regenerate those cells when necessary. And just like you want your hair, skin, nails, and muscles to grow, stay healthy, and regenerate, 
That's only going to happen if that you're getting in a sufficient amount of proteins. So where do we get proteins from? For us, proteins come primarily from the foods that we eat. And the foods that are rich in protein include fish and other lean meats. such as chicken breast. You'll notice a lot of athletes are heavy, heavy, heavy into diets that are pretty much only chicken breast, and that's the reason why. Um, the other things would be eggs and dairy products, as well as grains. Now, if that you are on a vegetarian or vegan diet, and so you're not necessarily getting all of these things from the foods that you eat in sufficient amounts, you can also try supplements. So, being a science geek, I could of course go on and on and on about my love affair with proteins, but I know that that's not really what you guys want to know about, and to be perfectly honest, I don't really find proteins all that interesting. Um, the main thing I think that you need to know about proteins is the fact that they are, again, as we talked about originally, large, large, large molecules. And what they're essentially made up of are things called amino acids. There are 22 kind of naturally occurring amino acids. Fourteen of them are just produced naturally by your body and eight are things that you get from foods and other things like that. So our hair is made of protein. And protein is made of something called amino acids. And they're large because they're made up of amino acids that are essentially kind of stacked on and built onto themselves. So you'll have an amino acid with another amino acid, another amino acid, and on and on and on. So all of these amino acids together make protein. And of the amino acids, there are five that primarily contribute to hair health and hair growth. So those are primarily the amino acids that kind of build together to form the protein that makes up your hair. And hair